Yep, Android is ready. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Imperial Vault. <laughs> Guys, and welcome to Whitey's Wicked Workshop. <laughs> Today, I got an extra special thing for you coming from the Rise of Skywalker, Babu Frick, and Sith 3PO. I am going to take you through the building process of Babu Frick, C3PO's head, and then I'm going to take you through putting together the parts and pieces in the Arduino wiring and also the programming. And I have the programming down below. These 3D prints are all free. You could find them down in the description below, all from Thingiverse. So make sure you check them out. Download them if you can and make it yourself. Let's check it out. So here I am using my CA glue trick. I spray on CA glue, then I use the accelerant, and then it's ready for sanding. Here I am cleaning these pieces up putting everything together there I'm using CA glue as a filler again uh, and then this upcoming part I found that using this felt grinder really worked well here I am sanding the 3d printed part this is actually a clear blue resin that worked out well so since I needed to put three LEDs on this single ring I thought I'd make a tool so that way I could drill them all out the same and everything would be lined up well. All I did was just drill the holes on the wood piece there and then I taped the parts to the underside and then I made sure to mark it with the hole punch. I had to size up and clean up some of the holes to get the LEDs in. No problem. Now it's time to paint Babu. I had a good time with the airbrush this time around different colors and thanks to my friend Ado. Ado's being mentioned a lot these days but he helped me out with uh, letting me know that there are different types of airbrushes which I didn't know. Different size uh, nozzles. Uh, two, uh, 0.2 or whatever millimeter is for the for very fine stuff and to print larger stuff and, and bigger areas, you use the five millimeter, I believe it was. Using middle stone for the glove areas. Another good thing about the airbrush paint is it it's, doesn't smell, so maybe I should just buy all airbrush paints. I originally wanted to use the multicolor LED here, but I couldn't get the right yellow, you know. So I went put three yellow and three red uh, on the same thing, and I'm just gonna tie them in with Arduino like this. These particular LEDs, they already have the, um, the resistors on them. One thing you gotta pay attention to is black for the negative and red for the positive but you got to watch because these leds are kind of reversed i don't know why they did that but i did put all the ends and i'm just going to do a breadboard for this but i wanted to show you what i did uh, and how i did it okay so i just wanted to show you quick the setup for uh, the electronics um, here i have my arduino board arduino uno it is um, and i just have a, a breadboard next to it so i have the power the 
5 volts and the negative coming out and going right to the breadboard over here and then you could see that I am powering my soundboard off of it off of the breadboard and then I also have jumpers going across so that way I have power on that side also but these are all my negatives from the LEDs um, and then I have all of the positives from the LEDs coming to all the pins on the Arduino boards. Um, 13 through 2 are all of the LED lights uh, and then no. pin 1 I'm using that as an output trigger for the switch. I tied it to the switch on my sound unit. So how the sound unit works is it, it'll get powered off of these power wires here and then if you push this button or you finagle the switch another way i.e. using the Arduino board as long as it's powered and it has a file on it you will hear audio coming out so that's really simple I have the link down below but you just hook up a USB and put whatever file you want audio file on there uh, very simple uh, I will have the program down below if you have any questions just hit me up on uh, Facebook or Instagram or just in the messages okay so one thing I forgot to mention is that this speaker needs to be up on something like you can't have it sitting like it has to be fairly insulated and how I did it was I just kind of put it in between these wires so that way it wasn't really vibrating on anything and it it came out good I also cleaned this up and put all this stuff you know on the breadboard there and held it down with some stuff but how this works is it I, I don't have it working off of anything uh, no push buttons or nothing like that but as soon as you give the board power, it, it, it runs the setup, and the setup is actually the program. So I'll, I'll show it to you again here by pushing the reset button. Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. So you see that there won't be any lights on on this card. Uh, just to let you know um, and I have right now I'm plugged into my computer but this is plugged into the regular uh, a power power plug
Now it is time for something entirely different. <laughs> I got a haircut the other day, and I figured that I would need some hair for Babu Frick. So I grabbed the stuff off of the person that cut my hair, put it in a little baggie, sprayed some spray paint in there, and it got a little gray. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> Uh, the day before I was trying to super glue it and like these big blobs and, and it was terrible. So on this day I figured I'd get the tweezers out and do it the right way. Paint it up a little bit white. Here is the gold, same color as C3PO. I figure I need to mix up the colors a little bit. Time to put the eyeballs together with some super glue so they don't fall out. Um, they, with the files, they gave me these little, it almost looked like a straw to put those two pieces together. And now I'm putting it to the eye lens and I wanted to super glue it so it would not fall out. I did not super glue that part in for the fear of having to remove it someday. And I would have to destroy the eyeball to get it out. So it's it's in there snug. <laughs> what are you doing there, 3 po Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Yep, good is ready. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Alexa, Babu! Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Thanks to all the Patreon members. Thanks to Cameron Ferguson for getting these shirts together for us. Ha ha ha! Alright guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one. Peace!